Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Live video tutorial. My name is Steven and today we are going to be continuing along with this corporate website that we started I believe three parts ago. Um, this is where we left off. Uh, it's not a whole lot but we got mainly this top bar completely done. We still have to work on this this logo on the left side. Before I get started I wanted to mention that YouTube did something beautiful they finally made it so we can upload videos that are 15 minutes rather than 10 minutes and that's for all YouTube people we're not a partner or anything so that's good news for these tutorials I'll probably try and keep them under 10 minutes because I feel that coding gets a little bit boring after 10 minutes of watching someone do it so we'll strive for 10 minutes but if it goes over then you know it's cool that we have the 15 minutes alright so let's go ahead and start in on this we left off, uh, and this logo was messed up where we left off, so let's go ahead and fix that real fast. And today, I am trying out TextMate because I hear so many people talking about it, so I thought I'll give it a try. So let's start over here. We have this LI logo, and what we have to do is give a padding left, and let's try 35 pixels, I believe. Refresh, and that spaces it out some and we'll just leave it like this for now and then we'll mess with it later um, alright so let's work on the center content area right over here what I want to do with this is if you don't remember what we did was we created a banner background and this background is going to be this blue color that stretches across the entire document depending on how you scale it and then we have the page wrapper or the banner wrapper which centers everything then inside of that we have another div which is for this left side and then we have another one for this right side right over here okay so we already have that in here we already have the HTML for it so we just have to stylize it and to do that we're gonna come over here and create a new comment that says um, blue banner simple as that let's close that off Okay, so inside of here, we want to work on that. <clears throat> Let me space this out so you can see it better. We want to work on that first, that stretching blue, uh, banner background. Okay, so inside of here, we're going to do a width of 100% and then a height of 294 pixels. And then we're going to, we're going to center it which I don't know if this is necessary let's just not put the margin zero auto because it's a width of 100 we want to give it a border top of one pixel solid and then this um, dark blue color or maybe it's a light blue color and the number for that is 4F81B2 and then we want to also give it a border bottom which is another dark blue color I believe and we're gonna go border bottom and that is one pixel solid and then the code for that is 09141 F and then well let's just uh, refresh that and see what that looks like okay you see we have this line here, this line here, but there's no background. So we need to call upon that background. And we're going to do that by saying background. And then it's going to be a URL. And it is dot dot slash images slash, what do we call it? Blue background dot PNG. Blue BG dot PNG. And we want to repeat x background dash image. Erase that, save it, refresh, and you can see it appears there. Now we have this little bit of gapping here. Let's go to inspect element and see how much we need to uh, take off of the height. And we're going to take off, let's make it 290 pixels. That'll be nice. So right here, we're going to go 290 pixels, save it. 
and refresh this and you can see it all lines up beautifully. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to work on that wrapper, which wraps all the content. And the name for that is, let's take a look, Banner Wrapper. So we're going to go Banner Wrapper. And it's going to be a width of 930 pixels. And then the margin is zero auto. Let's just clean this up a bit. We can put that all into one line. Okay, so what that does is it's going to just center this content in here. As you can see, it centered it. So now we want to stylize that banner content. And we're going to go just that banner content, I believe is the name. Let's double check. Banner content. Okay. And then we're going to give it a width of 530 pixels. And then we're going to do height of auto. Still getting used to this. Um, we're going to tell it to float to the left because it's that left content. And then we're going to give it a padding of 15 pixels. And then the font color for this, if you look, it is white. We're not going to worry about the drop shadow at the moment that's on there. So let's just do color white. Um, let's save and show what that's looking like. Okay, so now for this drop shadow, this is how you're going to do it. Um, let me just copy and paste the code, and then I can show you how uh, you can come about doing that. So I got this right here, text, text shadow, and then we're going to save it, refresh, and you can see it as the shadow. Now if you want to do this on your own, you can just search for Google CSS3 generator. And then it's this top one, css3generator.com. And then in this drop down, click on text shadow, and you can fill in your own coordinates to get something that you like. And they have a lot of sweet uh, different things that you can do with CSS3. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to stylize the P tag a bit for this banner. So we're going to go banner content P. And then we're going to do font size, and we're going to make it 17 pixels. And then font weight is going to be normal. Once again, let's clean this up a bit. Got to keep this neat. And then we want to stylize that H1 tag, which is this sample header right here. So we're going to go banner content H1. And the reason that we're going banner content H1 is so it doesn't change all the H1 tags, just the one the ones within this banner content div. All right, so for that, we're going to go font size, and we're going to make that 28 pixels. And then we're going to go font weight, and we're going to make it bold. And then we want to change the line height to 60 pixels. Let's save and refresh this so you can see what we did. We made it bigger, bolder, and then the line height spaced this out a bit. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is let's work on the button, which is this right here, these two buttons here, blue buttons. All right, ah, I closed the styles. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make a quick note right here that says buttons, and then we're going to do UL and then pound blue buttons I believe is the name UL blue buttons and then we have left right and then the class of buttons so for this we're going to do margin top and we're going to change it to 20 pixels and then we're going to stylize that class of button that both of these buttons have um, if we remembered when we did this we decided to give it a class of button so we can special, uh, specify the width and all that and then just use left and right to change the background picture. So we're going to do the class of buttons 
button. And then for that, we are going to give it a width of 226 pixels, I believe it is. A height of 42 pixels. And then background U URL images slash and it is blue button dot png blue underscore button dot png and we want to tell it not to repeat no repeat okay so let's save and let's refresh this and make sure we got it correct and I don't think it's working let's refresh Okay, it's not working yet because we still need to give uh, the IDs for these buttons. So we have left button and right button. So um, we have to specify that by doing pound. Let's make a space here. We'll go left button. And then let's also add right button. And then in this, we're going to tell it to float left. And then this is where we're going to change the background position. And we're going to do that by going background position, simple enough, and zero, and negative 42 pixels. So what that's going to do is tell it to, um, I believe it's the top, top left and down 42 pixels, which is the bottom, if, if I remember that correctly. So let's save that refresh and you can see that the button appears right there and then for this right button we're going to do just about the same thing float right though and then background position and that's going to be 0 negative 126 pixels save refresh and bam there you go so now that we have that all we have to do is do the hover state for it and we're going to do that by going pound left button hover and we're going to go background position and we're going to change it to zero zero pixels so let's copy this paste it and then we're going to change this to right and then change this background position to zero and negative 84 pixels save it refresh this and you can see the hover state is working beautifully minute let's quickly add that image on the right side i don't know how beautiful it will look but let's just add it we're gonna go banner image and then for that we're going to go uh, width of 339 pixels and then we're going to do a height of 294. And then the background, we're going to specify where it's located. URL, dot, dot, slash, images, slash. And it's top logo, I think it is. No. Um, large logo dot PNG, I think. Yes. All right, so we're going to do large logo dot png no repeat and then we're going to tell it to float to the right let's save that and then refresh this as you can see it is right in there and we didn't do a too good of a job on cutting this out it looks like we forgot a background i will probably modify that um, we don't need to do it on the camera you can just see what i did wrong all right so that's going to end off this tutorial this part in the next part, we will work on that bottom section. And uh, we're just about done. We've got about half more to do. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.